All right, what's up? It's the Hi-Viz LEDs FireTech team. I have in front of me the new FireTech Guardian, and this thing is pretty exciting. So today we're gonna do an unboxing. This is the newest, latest, and greatest in forward-facing LED scene lighting. And by forward-facing, I mean anywhere forward of the panel. So it could be to the side, to the rear, or to the front, um, but it's not a blinking light. So what we're gonna do is this thing comes in two models. It comes in the Guardian, which is the 75 watt, or the Guardian Elite, 125 watt. They're in the same package, which is kind of cool, um, but they have two different circuit boards. So anyway, first things first, um, if we look at this packaging, Go ahead and just pull this over here for this camera. So the FireTech Guardian and Guardian Elite, you'll see they come in two different models. This particular box has GESMs. They're gonna be the higher output version and then the GSM is the lower output version. They're equivalent to about a 10 or a 20,000 lumen fixture in the fire market. Um, but we've also got our measured light output, which is actually tested in a Gonio photometer. More about that later. Anyway, in the box comes this standard gasket and we'll get to that in just a minute. But if you're putting this on a truck where you might've had this thing in service for a few years, this retrofit gasket is something that'll cover the old hole of any other of the fixtures with similar size. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this sucker opened up. This is the FireTech Guardian. So as we pull things out of the box, you'll see right here, this is the two uh, body isolating mounting panels. Pull them out. Done in here. We've got a set of components here. This is the mounting screws, it looks like. Yep, mounting hardware. There we go, four mounting screws. And then let's go ahead and pull this light fixture out of the package. Set this aside. All right, so here it is. Here's our mounting gasket. Get those two separators out of the way. I really like how they uh, put that in the box. Kudos to our team for that one. Keeps it totally suspended so it's not gonna get damaged in shipping. Wow, this thing is slick. This is the first time I've actually seen the final production run. I've been messing with quite a few of the prototypes, getting little things changed and tweaked, um, but I know our team has been working diligently to get a couple of things like the optics and the holders and all that stuff finished 100%. So, wow, this thing is, it is seriously a lot different than the original prototypes. What I'm really impressed with just on first opening is that the the lens is like crystal clear. So we're using this material made by a company called Cavestro, and Cavestro uh, materials are a little bit squishy so that if something hits it, you won't damage the optics that are behind it. The optics do not squish, they break. So we put this Cavestro lens, it's got a high melting temperature, and then it's got a little bit of good squishiness to it, whatever the technical term is, I'm not sure, uh, that keeps it from getting damaged. This thing looks really slick. So on the back side of this fixture, we've got this is the mounting plug. This actually goes through the body. The durometer is a little bit lower than the original prototypes that I've showed off a few times in the past, and that lets it squish a little bit more into place and keep more tension on the bodies. So this is pretty cool. Um, this mounting gasket, the fixture goes into, and then from there, goes into here. This is the actual gasketed interface. Which it all lines up nice and neat, and then that thing can be installed on the body. So this is actually, um, a lot different than I thought it was going to be. And it's hard to do on the table because, hold on. Cool. See at the bottom right here, these are two drain holes so that if any moisture or water gets behind the fixture between that and the body, they'll, uh, they'll drain right out of it, which is pretty cool. So then the fixture itself actually goes right in there and that thing can be installed right on the body of the fire truck. This is cool. So now that we've got the light out of the package, we can see here, if you're actually looking at the fixture, what you can see is we've got this crystal clear Cavestro lens, the light circuit at the top. These two pieces are designed to give you light out from the fire truck that illuminates mailboxes and that sort of thing. These bottom two circuits are articulated down, so that's lighting the area kind of midway in the fire scene. And this bottom section right here, that's lighting down the side of the body and near the fire truck so that we have a light in the whole area near the outer edge of the apparatus. So this thing here is the FireTech Guardian fixture. The Guardian Elite is a little bit larger circuit board, but not a larger fixture. If you actually look here at the bottom, you can see that those chips don't have a primary optic on them, which is like a little silicon dome. Um, and when you're looking at these chips here and you compare them to the Guardian Elite, you'll see that primary optic and then the upper chips are actually larger on the Guardian Elite as well. The center row of chips, those are the same. 
Uh, they, we do change the optics depending on where they're designed. So this guardian fixture specifically is supposed to go on the back of the ambulance body or on the side loading doors. We recommend that in areas where you're looking to reduce the glare but still improve the visibility. And then areas where you're just looking for total scene lighting coverage, the guardian elite fixture with the bigger bottom and top row of chips, that gives you a little more light output uh, which just floods the area. So anyway, this is the FireTech Guardian fixture. We're super excited about releasing this to the marketplace. If you wanna get a copy yourself, we've got demo programs to try them out. We're recommending uh, doing six on an ambulance for 30 days. You can do the Guardians or the Guardian Elites. The Guardians typically plug right in, they're 75 watts, so they don't require much change in the electrical system. But the Guardian Elite, it's 125 watts, so worst case, you gotta add a relay and upsize your wiring. So anyway, check these out online at guardianscenelight.com. That's just a subdomain of highvizleds.com or go to products and click on Guardian. Have a good day. See ya.